What's going on everybody? It's been a long time since we've done one of these. I owe you an update on the Montero and today we're gonna do that with something simple. Before I go too deeply into this video, if you could go to blipshift.com slash Hooniverse and buy some t-shirts or stickers, that's always very helpful for us. If you don't wanna, you don't have to. I'm not making you, I'm just saying, you know, if you wanna do something, you know, why can't you help us out a little bit? You could just go spend some of your money and then support a channel you like and I'm going to switch out my headlights. The standard headlights are okay. I was driving this the other night and I thought, you know what, I'd like to have a little bit better illumination as I go down the road. So I ordered a pair of these. These are just seven inch headlight replacements. It's easy when you have seven inch rounds on a vehicle. Um, many vehicles have them and these are H4 bulbs inside of there. So this should be brighter. I'm not testing this at night, but I can turn off the lights in this here garage and make it a bit darker. And we'll take a look and swap these and very easy to do. And then we'll see if there's a difference here in the garage. So this is easy enough. You remove the parking lights, you unscrew a few screws, slide the grill forward to get some access, and remove the headlight surrounds, and you're in. The headlight metal trim is three screws, that comes out, then the old headlight comes out, and the new headlight goes in. I'm using these rubber boots uh, that come with the KC headlights to just provide some extra protection for the back of the headlights where the plug area is. Installation is the reverse of removal. You put all the screws back in place, you bolt it all back up and it's easy as that and then it's time to just check this and see if there's a difference. It's hard to tell the difference in brightness inside the garage. I need to test this actually at night and do it properly. However, I will say that the KC headlight has a much sharper, clearer, more well-defined cutoff than the Sylvania lights that were in there prior. I'm really interested to see how that's gonna be out on the road. Okay, I got a little sweaty on the second one because a bolt was or a screw was fighting me, which is super annoying, but I realized I could just take out the top one instead of unscrewing the whole ring. It's really light metal, just pull it back, take the headlight out, put it back in, and stop wasting my time messing with that. So that was a good lesson, and I'm gonna have to change my shirt now, but the lights are in. It was other than that, very simple, very easy, very affordable upgrade, and then I will be giving you a full running driving update on this vehicle very soon because there's been engine work. Um, I don't think I've done a drive update of this since the suspension's been in and um, we'll go from there. But I'm overdue for one of those. I believe the truck trail, Maple Springs truck trail is open. So we will get up there soon and uh, expect a bigger update soon, but this is where the Montero sits right now. Here we go, new lights. Boom, sharper cut off, looks good. And then just as a bonus, here's what my, uh, uh, the off-road lights from Hardcore look like. Boom. Clickety, clack. Those are my Kyle Monster Energy lights. 